I mean, it's thrilling because it, we've been working on this since 2012, <laughs> and it's a really important topic to both uh, of us. Who would have thought that we could actually get a comedic abortion story out in the world? <laughs> and it's out there now, which is amazing. Hi, I'm Jenny Hendricks. And I'm Ted Kaplan, and we're the authors of Unpregnant. It is the story of Veronica, who has to take a thousand mile journey across four states to get a legal abortion. And fortunately, she needs to find a ride, and the only person she knows who can get her that ride, who won't judge her, is the dark cloud of her high school, Bailey Butler, who also happens to be her ex-best friend. What should be a simple road trip turns into three days of Slurpees, Kelly Clarkson, ferret napping, shotguns, stolen cars, crazed ex-boyfriends, and aliens. Aliens, don't forget the aliens. And a taser. <laughs> when I was on How I Met Your Mother, I was stuck in traffic listening to NPR, as you do, and a report came on about new abortion restrictions that they were trying to get passed in South Dakota. And I thought about how far these people had to drive to get this very common procedure, and then who would you take on that drive? And also, who would be the worst person to take on that drive? So by the time I got home, I was like texting Ted. I'm like, Ted, I know what the next thing we're writing is. It's gonna be an abortion road trip story. And I was like, that sounds challenging. But I mean, I think that was what drew me to it, was that if we could pull it off, it would be really something special. And right. we were excited about the challenge. Just this year, hundreds of laws have been proposed to try to restrict abortion access. Yeah. Right now, the Supreme Court is considering cases that could threaten Roe v. Wade, we're making this an even bigger issue in the next year or two. Yeah, and 37 states require parental consent or notification for minors, which if a minor is in a situation that is unsafe with their parent or guardian is extremely dangerous. One in four people with a uterus will get this procedure before the age of 45, so it's extremely common and nobody talks about it because it's often clouded in shame. And so if we could bring some humor and make people more comfortable with the subject, we could maybe alleviate some of that shame. Based on the idea that the journey these girls were gonna have to go on is so absurd that we wanted to highlight you know, the difficulty of getting there, but in a fun way. Like, look at all the obstacles these poor girls are gonna have to go through. So that immediately lent itself to comedy. Otherwise, it was just gonna be very dark it's, and I mean, depressing, it's so. Very easily could be yeah. a horror story. But, yeah. I mean, laughter is a way of taking away fear and shame, and laughter can be its own form of defiance. And we thought it would take away some of the anxiety over it. If people were laughing, at it, then we could make this less of a taboo subject. On some right. level, if everyone's laughing, how scary is it? And, you know, we want to make people laugh because <laughs> times are dark. That's our nature. <laughs> we can't not make jokes. Yes, that's exactly. Exactly.